in those spots. All right, let's talk about the tropics. We are heading into the heart of hurricane season. I know you think we're not even there yet. Well, we're really not to our peak just yet. We still got a long ways to go and we're tracking multiple areas. That's what's left of Ida. Ida causing big time problems up in the northeast as we just showed you with flooding and tornadoes. Larry is now a hurricane. It's sitting off the continent of Africa here, heading out towards the west and then invest 91. Talk more about that in just a second, but here's the latest on Larry. It is a 75 mile per hour hurricane sitting way on out there near the Cape Verde, Cabo Verde Islands. It's heading west at 20 miles an hour. It's booking it and it is expected to become our next major hurricane of this season. We do have a forecast to become a cat four, maybe even stronger as it lifts off to the north and west here. So it looks like it's going to stay north of the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico, but the uh, island nation of Bermuda needs to keep an eye on this in the long term and even the US. We really do need to watch this in the United States kind of long term now. It is nowhere near being a threat for the United States. Notice uh, it is probably over 10 days away from ever approaching the US if it ever did. Right now, a lot of models curve this out to see, but it's really too early to guarantee that it never does impact the United States. So just know it is no threat to the eastern coast right now, but I need to keep an eye on it long term and we we're talking over a week, so plenty of time to watch it. What we're going to be watching over the next seven days is Invest 91. Not much to it. Not probably going to be much to it in the near term. It's a little area of low pressure that is just off the coast of Honduras here. It's going to be heading inland as we go through today and riding in this general area. So the chance that it really does anything in the near term is pretty low. I just don't think it's going to be able to do much with the land interaction by early next week, though. So we're talking Monday, Tuesday. It's going to be here in the southwest Gulf, and it will have a little bit better chance of trying to organize some. Wind shear looks to be pretty high, so I don't think it's going to happen very quickly, but it is possible that maybe it tries to organize just a little by next week, so a lot of time to watch it. I want to show you some of our models here with the moisture associated with it. There's the moisture with it right now. As we go into the weekend, there it is moving over the Yucatan and then into the southwestern Gulf by Monday and Tuesday. And notice a lot of the moisture of it uh, does get associated with it does get pulled to the north. So from Texas to Louisiana, I think we'll need to keep an eye on this. Early indication doesn't do much. A lot of wind shear, maybe some dry air keeps it from really organizing too much, but it will likely at least bring us some moisture towards the end of next week. So we're talking Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday time frame, uh, so six to seven days away. So we got plenty of time to watch it. Not really concerned with it right now, but we will need to keep an eye on it. And there you go. A lot of that moisture. I think it's coming our way regardless. Next name, by the way, now that we've got Larry crossed off the list is going to be Mindy and then Nicholas. So we are already to our M storm mm -hmm. and uh, there are no immediate threats to the area in the tropics, but we'll watch it and we'll get a little bit of a break from the rainfall over the coming days. I think there'll still be a few storms around Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but the rain chances will be fairly low across the area here in southeast Louisiana. Still going to be plenty hot. Highs are going to be in the 90s here but maybe not as humid. So overall, there's some improvements there as we head into Monday, which by the way is Labor Day. Just realize that it is going to be hot. It is going to be humid. We'll be in the low 90s and our rain chances will be on the increase throughout next week.